Hello, my name is Tom. Two days ago, my spouse, with whom I've been together for 10 years and married for five, admitted to having cheated on me with my best friend of 15 years not once, but twice. The first instance occurred several months ago and the second time was less than a week ago. Shockingly, they were caught by his wife, who is also a friend of mine for more than 15 years. What's even more heartbreaking is that I found out that their affair was not just physical, but also emotional. Apparently, they've grown very close over the past four to five months, which makes the betrayal even harder to bear. I should have seen the signs as I had an overdue conversation with my spouse just before this confession, expressing my discomfort with the intimacy of their friendship. But I never thought that it would come to this. Right now, I am feeling a mix of emotions including anger, sadness, and betrayal. I never thought that my best friend and my spouse would betray me in this way. I'm struggling to process it all and figure out what to do next. It's a tough situation and I'm just trying to take things one step at a time. It's been a few days I am still processing the situation, I wanted to add some more thoughts. It's hard to shake the feeling that there must have been some underlying issues that led to her infidelity, despite her claims to the contrary. She has repeatedly stated that there were no issues in our relationship and that the cheating was a result of being drunk and making stupid mistakes. However, I find it difficult to believe that these two instances were the only time something happened. It feels like there must have been more, and I am struggling with the idea that I may never know the full extent of what happened. When I brought up the fact that this was not just a one-time mistake, but rather a pattern of behavior, she seemed surprised that I saw it that way. It's frustrating to see her minimize the situation and act like it's not a big deal when it has completely shattered my trust and rocked my world. I don't know what the future holds for us, but I do know that I can't just ignore what has happened and pretend like everything is okay. I need time to process my emotions and figure out what I want for my future. It's going to be a long road to healing, and I'm not sure how we'll get there, but I am willing to try if she is. In the aftermath of everything that has happened, I've been reflecting a lot on our relationship and the signs that I may have missed. I'm starting to have serious doubts that this was the first time my spouse has cheated on me. Looking back, there were red flags with some of her male friends at work, but at the time, I didn't want to come across as jealous or controlling. I thought it was important to give each other space and trust. Now, I'm wondering if I gave her too much space and trust. It's hard not to blame myself for what has happened. Maybe if I had been more proactive in addressing my concerns, things would have turned out differently. But I know that dwelling on the what-ifs won't help me move forward. As for my former best friend, he is dead to me. The thought of seeking revenge has crossed my mind, but I know that it wouldn't do any good in the short or long term. Right now, my focus is on myself and figuring out what I need to do to move forward. It's not going to be easy, but I'm taking things one day at a time. As time goes by, I'm realizing that the fallout from this situation is going to be more extensive than I initially thought. My emotions are still incredibly raw, and I'm struggling to come to terms with the fact that my wife and best friend betrayed me in such a profound way. One of the hardest parts of this is the fact that they formed such a significant part of my social group. I've always been an independent person, and I tend to keep my circle small. But my wife and my best friend were the two people that I let in and trusted completely. Now that trust has been shattered, and I'm left feeling incredibly isolated and alone. To make matters worse, we're both still living in the same house for now. She's staying downstairs, and I'm staying upstairs. It's a strange and uncomfortable situation, but we're both trying to be civil and respectful to each other. As for the future, I don't see how I can continue to live like this. The thought of staying with her and trying to work through this feels impossible right now. It's not just a matter of the infidelity, but the fact that my entire life feels like it's been upended. We have no kids, and we're fortunate to own a house in a growing market that could sell for a good price. At this point, I'm seriously considering selling the house, cutting my losses, and starting fresh somewhere else. But I know that's easier said than done. It's been several weeks since my wife admitted to cheating on me with my best friend, and the emotional roller coaster shows no sign of slowing down. I'm finding it difficult to think clearly because every thought is interrupted by an alternating torrent of anger and crushing sadness. I know that I can't continue to live like this, but I'm also hesitant to make any major decisions in the heat of the moment. 
I don't want to call it quits in a cloud of anger and regret it later, but at the same time, I don't want to wait too long and be influenced to stay by loneliness, depression, and attrition. To try and get some perspective, I've been talking to a therapist regularly. They've been helping me work through my emotions and figure out what my next steps should be. It's been incredibly helpful to have someone to talk to who's completely unbiased and non-judgmental. I'm still living in the same house as my wife, and we're both trying to be civil and respectful to each other. However, it's becoming increasingly clear that we can't continue like this forever. We've had some preliminary discussions about how we want to proceed, but we haven't made any concrete decisions yet. For now, I'm trying to take things one day at a time and focus on taking care of myself. I'm exercising regularly, spending time with friends who aren't connected to this situation, and doing things that I enjoy. It's not easy, but I know that I need to prioritize my own well-being above all else right now. How do I choose a path forward? If I leave, what do I need to start getting in order? My wife cheated on me with my best friend, who I've known my entire life. I'm completely devastated and trying to figure out what my next steps should be. I don't want to rush into any decisions, but at the same time, I don't want to drag this out longer than necessary. If divorce is the end result, I'd like to avoid lawyers if possible. We're both in a relatively equal financial position, and I don't want to engage in any legal or financial battles. However, I understand that there may be circumstances where hiring a lawyer is necessary, and I'm open to considering it if that's the case. In the meantime, I'm trying to get my life in order. I've been speaking with a therapist to help me work through my emotions and figure out what I want moving forward. I'm also gathering financial documents and trying to get a sense of our joint assets and liabilities. One of my biggest concerns is the house we own together. We've already talked about putting it on the market, but there are still some details to work out. I want to make sure that we both get a fair share of the proceeds and that there are no surprises down the road. Another issue that's come up is our joint credit card debt. We've been using the same card for years, and I'm worried about how we'll handle paying it off if we separate. I'm considering opening a new credit card in my name only to avoid any future complications. Overall, I'm still struggling to come to terms with what's happened. My heart is broken, and I don't know if I'll ever fully trust anyone again. But I know that I need to focus on taking care of myself and making decisions that are in my best interests. The situation that Tom is going through is undoubtedly painful and difficult to bear. The betrayal of both his spouse and best friend is devastating, and it's understandable that he's feeling a range of emotions, including anger, sadness, and betrayal. It's important for Tom to take the time he needs to process his emotions and figure out what he wants for his future. He should not rush to make any major decisions in the heat of the moment. It's important for Tom to focus on himself and his healing. He should seek support from loved ones, family, or a professional therapist. Thomas should understand that it is not his fault that his spouse cheated and he should not blame himself for it. Instead, he should focus on what he can control, which is his own healing and moving forward. It's understandable that Tom might want to seek revenge against his former friend, but it's not a productive way to move forward. Instead, he should focus on cutting ties with them and rebuilding his life. It may be challenging to let go of such a significant part of his social group, but it's crucial for his well-being. It's also essential for Tom to be honest with himself and his spouse about what he needs and wants for his future. He should not ignore what has happened and pretend like everything is okay. He should communicate his feelings and concerns with his spouse and be clear about what he needs to move forward. In conclusion, it's a challenging situation and it will take time to heal, but it's important for Tom to take care of himself, seek support, and make decisions that are in his best interest. Friends, thank you for listening to this story. If you have your thoughts about this story, I would like to hear them. Leave comments under the video. Also, don't forget to support the channel. Like this video and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to turn on the bell. It will help you not to miss new stories on this channel. Thank you for your attention and I wish everyone success in life. See you soon. Goodbye.